Hello everyone and welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions Hydrology Education videos. Today we're doing a quick video on the differences between HydroCAD and TR55, both hydraulic modeling softwares that are used pretty widely in the US and across the world. And today we're going to do a quick overview of both of those. We have a Windows TR55 series on our channel going over how to use the software, where to download it. So if you're interested in that, go to Clear Creek Solutions YouTube channel and check out that playlist there. Anyways, we're going to provide a quick overview here, which were extracted from both software's websites. HydroCAD is a computer-aided design tool for hydrology and hydraulic modeling stormwater runoff, and TR55, or Technical Release 55, prevents simplified procedures to calculate storm runoff volume, peak rate of discharge, hydrographs, and storage volumes required for flood water reserves. These procedures are applicable to small watersheds, especially urbanizing watersheds, in the United States. So what is the purpose of HydroCAD? Well, HydroCAD provides a number of advantages for hydrologic modeling. You can do rational method modeling, flow simulations, including pumps and float valves, pond storage calculations, and hydraulics and culvert calculations. For TR55, it provides a number of advantages for hydrologic modeling. SCS runoff equations for peak runoff. You can input soil conditions and land use types, compute a tabular hydrograph, and determine the storage effect of a watershed. Now, how do we get these software? TR55 is free, but HydroCAD must be purchased. However, there's a free demo available that I'll show you real quick here. Um, but you can get, if you just look up on Google or the links in the description for HydroCAD and TR55, you can find those there to either download or purchase. And what do the modeling screens look like? On HydroCAD, you have a small modeling screen on the left where you can add subcatchments, reaches, ponds, links, and perform a number of functions. And TR55 has a small modeling screen that can open up into many other smaller windows, which I'll show you uh, in the future slides. And then you can also select the state and county for which you're performing the project to find a good rainfall distribution for your unit hydrograph. So what are the similarities between the two softwares? Well, both software packages allow for single event hydrology modeling. Both software allow you to generate hydrograph related results and determine peak flows. Both softwares can determine detention or retention facility size. And the user interface that allows for detailed analysis and planning of your hydrologic system. What are some of the differences? Well, HydroCAD requires a purchase while TR55 is free, government provided. TR55 utilizes exclusively the SCS runoff calculations. TR55 contains local, county, and state data for IDF curves and hydrographs, while HydroCAD has more overall modeling and analysis features for a more in-depth model. So you should use HydroCAD if you need to model single events, stormwater runoff events, size detention facilities and determine peak runoff of stormwater events, route your hydrographs through ponds and detention facilities. You want to use SCS, NRCS, and SBUH, which is the Santa Barbara Unit Hydrograph Method for hydrologic calculations. Use TR55 if you need to calculate peak discharge using the SCS method. Determine peak flow based on overland or unconfined flow conditions. Simulate the effects of synthetic stormwater events and determine peak flow when the weighted curve number is over 40. And we have an overview of the SCS runoff method on our channel if you wanna learn more about curve numbers. So here's some of the HydroCAD features. You can see here that we can even go into modeling chambers determining single event runoff situations and providing and in, in displaying different hydrologic modeling situations. You can see here we have two housing areas, going to underground detention and infiltration facilities, as well as a chamber. So you can perform a number of hydrologic modeling scenarios. You can even import different IDF curve reports for different jurisdictions. Then for TR55, you can see here we can calculate time of concentration based on our land use and our project site and find data for the dimensionless units, hi, unit hydrographs based on your state and county situation, and also calculate the weighted curve number for your project area. You can see here you can enter in land use details based on the number of acres and your soil type to determine a curve number and import different structure data such as ponds or other pipes and weirs. Here's the works reference. Let me show you the softwares real quick. So this is Windows TR55. I can start it here. We also have videos on our channel about TR55 if you want to learn more about it. You can see here you can open up and begin modeling with your land use details, determine the time of concentration, or create a structure. Now for the software, now for the software HydroCAD, you can see here there's a free demo available or a sampler that I'm opening up here now. So I clicked OK to begin my 60 minute session and you can begin modeling in here or even open up different sample projects, such as this chamber example, to learn how to use the software, begin creating diagrams, running models, and determining your results. So this is an overview of both software packages. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time.